Equifax gets no bid $7.2 million contract from the IRS to do it to a job that it just massively failed to do. And we say massively, we mean at historic levels. Equifax has an epic failure in ID fraud protection, then gets awarded a contract to provide a similar service to the IRS. That is, that's some good stuff, folks. Uh, my name is Paul Gordon, and this is iState.tv, and this is your top story of the day. So, if you're the IRS and you're looking to hire a private org to assure that taxpayer identities are verified, who are you going to call? Well, if you're the IRS, you're going to go ahead and award Equifax the contract. Yay! If you're the IRS, you're going to award Equifax, Equifax the contract through a no-bid process. Yay! If you're the IRS, you're going to pay Equifax $7.25 million to do the job. Yeah. If you're the IRS, you're going to ignore the fact that Equifax just experienced one of the largest breaches of security ever when it exposed over 145 million Americans to potentials for, wait for it, being victims of ID fraud. That's right. The very thing the IRS has has hired them to prevent. And if you're paying attention, yes, my cell phone went off. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, I am doing live streams here. I did forget to turn my cell phone down. So it's in the YouTube video, and it'll be captured for all time because once it's on the Internet, it never goes off. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure I turn this thing down so we don't have that happen again. Let's get back to the story. If you're the IRS and you have friends at Equifax, you hire the company that just exposed almost half of all Americans to identity fraud risk. And really, if you if you take away the percentage of children who aren't enough in the system to have been affected by this, I believe you'll find that, that a significant majority of adults in America are, are affected by this. So that's your IRS, folks. Awarding no-bid contracts to the singularly discredited companies to do a job they just got done failing to do. And failing at levels of historic proportion. I had to say historic proportion in a kind of epic, booming, historic way so you get the full effect there. Uh, by the way, I was one of those 145 million Americans, as was my wife. I know it's hard to believe that someone actually married me, but it's true. It happened. And there was no guns involved. <laughs> It was completely consensual. Who knew? So there's hope for you, you know, gentlemen out there. There's always hope. If I can get married, you know. So the contract, as announced by the IRS, is referred to as a sole source order. That means there was no other competition. Now, by our IRS's superior standard of discernment, the only company that singularly failed at historic proportions to do the work the IRS needed done is the only company it deemed could do the job in the first place. Senate Finance Chairman Orrin Hatch is quoted in, Poli in Politico. He said, in the wake of one of the most massive data breaches in a decade, it's irresponsible for the IRS to turn over millions of taxpayer dollars to a company that has yet to offer a succinct answer on how at least 145 Americans had 
personally identifiable information exposed. Now, his counterpart, the ranking member of the Finance Committee, Senator Ron Wyden, is quoted in the same political article as saying, The Finance Committee will be looking into why Equifax was the only company to apply for and be rewarded with this. I will continue to take every measure possible to prevent taxpayer data from being compromised as this arraignment, arrangement moves forward. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, that is... There was a healing that's taken place in D.C. It's a, you know, I, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I feel like singing right now. I feel like, kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya, everybody's getting together. Yes, wonderful to see, isn't it? Bipartisan outrage is nice, isn't it? I don't know necessarily that you want those guys actually getting together <laughs> and working together because then they might actually get stuff done. I don't know if I want them to get anything done. But I am willing to bet that what you will see is some red-faced, ham-fisted, stompy stomps for a few days. Then, after another round of uh, outrage porn has wafted through the sheeple's Facebook feeds and Twitter streams, Nothing will be done, and Equifax will do the work it was contracted to do, putting perhaps all Americans at risk of being exposed to fraudsters. At this point, I would like to pause. And what I'd like to ask my studio audience, if you're listening live on Facebook Live, you can participate in this. And by the way, if you're not on Facebook Live and you see this video on YouTube, I I suggest that you like us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com backslash or forward slash, sorry, forward slash iState TV. The link is also in the description of the YouTube video. And, and you'll get a notification when we go live so you can actually see the live process as I make this video. So if, if you're watching on YouTube right now or, or, or if you're watching on Facebook Live right now, I want everyone to gather around their television sets because I know you're playing this on television, right? Or your little mobile phones, whatever it is that you're doing. Everyone gather around. Let's do this together. Everyone, thank the IRS for putting everyone at risk who wasn't put at risk by the first round of bumbling from X, uh, uh, Equifax. Thanks, IRS! I, I think of the uh, Married with Children. I think there was numerous Married with Children episodes where, where Peg Bundy, after, after Al screws up, Al, Al, I mean, you know, I, I don't know if I want to compare Equifax to Al because because Al was awesome. He's a horrible human being. He's awesome. Equifax is just horrible. He, there's nothing awesome about him. But anyway, the analogy, it sticks. So whenever Al Bundy screwed up, uh, Peg Bundy would have the kids say, thanks, Dad. Thank your father, kids. Thanks, Dad. That's what we're doing right now here for you, IRS. Thanks, IRS. Now, I want to let you guys know, I can feel it. There's a... There's a vibe going out. It's wafting through the atmosphere, and I can, I can, I can psychedelic. Hold on, there. Oh, come here. Hold on here. Yes, I. Oh, I got a little dirt on that hat there. Oh well, I have to dust off this hat. I can, uh, I can, I can psychedelically sense. The response. They heard your thanks and they returned that thanks with this statement as a reward to your heartfelt cry. They said, Are you ready? Are you ready? I gotta take my hat off for this because I don't want to be an IRS character while I read, have that hat on because I kind of look like an IRS agent there. It's like a little bit too close to comfort. Following an internal review. Oh, and an on-site visit with Ex Equifax, the IRS believes the service Equifax provided does not pose a risk to IRS data or systems. At this time, we have seen no indications of tax fraud related to the Equifax breach, but we will continue to closely monitor the situation. Now... <laughs> Okay, a little thing that I like to do. Anybody who watches these videos regularly, you know there's a little thing. And that's actually involved in the hat. So the hat comes back because this is, this is where I get that psychedelic power from. This is my psychedelic powers hat. So what this hat does for me 
does a number of things. Sometimes it lets me see into the future, and it's it, it lets me sense things. But this time, what it's enabling me to do, I might get another hat for this eventually, but uh, you know, th this hat's going to work for now. Maybe I'll get a better hat that really helps me tap in here. What I'm able to do with this hat is I am able to degov a gov statement. That's right. I am going to be able to degov this statement for you. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves. I'm going to give you the real version of the crap that you just heard. Crap! You guys noticed that? Oh, damn! Let me think. Let me think. Hold on. Hold on. Crap! This really sucks. Okay, here goes. We investigated ourselves and found we did nothing wrong. Yes! Also, listen. Some of the folks in the IRS are like really, really close to some of the folks in Equifax. And man, man, it would suck to drop them. So we're not going to do that unless, of course, you guys keep making a big fuss about this. But hey, 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 we got it, Senate dudes. You have to throw your peeps some red meat and act outraged. We get it. We get it. Get it. No, no, no hard feelings there, buddy. None. None whatsoever. Now, what I want you to do is I just want you to wait a few weeks and everyone will be talking about Harambe 2. And now my psychedelic powers are gone. So that's what they really mean there, folks. The hat has spoken. And then the question is this. Are they right? I, I I think I think they're probably right. So this is Paul Colt Board Gordon with uh, iState TV, and this has been your iTop video. And uh, if you're watching on Facebook, be sure that you go to YouTube and uh, subscribe. We are iState on YouTube. If you do a YouTube search for iState using the channel, you'll find us. Be sure that you subscribe, like, share, whatever. You'll see the video. If you're watching on the YouTube live, it'll be up in an hour or so after the video, after the YouTube or the live stream is done. And whatever you do, whatever, uh, above all else, whatever you do, make sure that you, you hit that bell. If you're watching on YouTube, I will see you the next time I make a video.